how to set up static IP from your router. The router we use today is the Netgear R7000. If this is not your router, you can still stay with me. It doesn't matter. Most of the router working almost the same, okay? So, first, you need that free application thing. You can find it on iOS or Android either, okay? Just go in that application. And from here, you have a great idea of what devices are on your network. From here, what we need to know is what is the IP address of your router. Most of the time, it's always the first device right here. Okay, and we see the IP address from that is 192.168.1.1. Your router IP address may be different. We are on the computer. Most of the router is greatly accessible with Google Chrome. Doesn't matter if you're Windows or Mac, it's all the same thing. It doesn't matter if you want to use another web browser, but Usually we have better result with Google Chrome. So now we enter the address we just find in ping. In my case, that was 192.168.1.1. That one, that one, that one. This is the address we have on most router, okay? You can also have something looking like the zero, that one, or you can also have something looking at 10.0.0, that one, or that one, that one, something like that. But what we have right now is 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. Again, this is a Netgear R7000. It may be different on other router, but it always about the same thing. Now, the username, most of the router is always admin. And the default password on almost router is admin. If it's not admin, try password. If it's not password, try nothing. Just admin and nothing. If those three choice doesn't work, well, do some Google search on your router or factory reset it, okay? So once you enter your username and password, logged in, and now we are in our router setting page. From here, you go in advanced and on setup. You go down to LAN setup. So here we find our LAN setup, okay? So what we see here is that our DHCP server range is between 2 and 99. That means that when a new device connects to your router, the router will give to that device an address between 2 and 99. So on that application thing we see at the beginning, you have to find the device you want to set a static IP address to. Okay, so let's say I want to set a static IP address to my iPad, which is the device right there. So I click on it and right here you see this is the MAC address of that device. Okay, so A4670611A3EE. A4 -E -E. Okay, so now we go back to the computer and here click HAD. So we found the MAC address to the device we want to set a static IP to. Okay, so type in this MAC address here. So that one was A4670611. A3. E. E. All the characters are important. If you want to be well organized, you can type in the name of this device. So that one is an iPad. And Type in the address you want to assign to that device and be sure that address is not used on the network or you will have a conflict. So in my case, let's say 101. The other option is that here you have all the devices that doesn't have an IP address on the network. So you just click here and it fill up all the information easily here. And you can still choose the IP address you want. Uh, the IP address you can enter is between 2 and 253. Don't go lower, don't go higher, and don't pick an address which is already on your network. When you're done, click Add. 
you see the address we just picked is right here the name I gave and the MAC address when you're done it apply now your router will reboot with the new configuration in and will assign this address to the device you just set up most of the time it doesn't pass through right away you will probably have to reboot the device you just assign a static IP and we are done so thank you for watching I hope it helps don't forget to subscribe see ya